for me, just as a as a fan of complexity, mm -hmm. uh, just even looking at simple cellular automata is, is always just a fascinating way to illustrate the emergence of complexity. So for those of the listeners who don't know, viewers, cellular automata come from in imagining a very simple configuration. For example, a set of ones and zeros along a line. And then you met a rule that says, okay, I'm going to evolve this in time. And generally, the simplest ones start with just each block of three ones and zeros have a rule that they will deterministically go to either a one or a zero. And you can actually classify all the different possibilities, a small number of possible cellular automata of that form. And what was discovered um, by various people, including Stephen Wolfram, is some of these cellular automata have the feature that you start from almost nothing, like 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and you let it rip, and it becomes wildly complex, okay? So this is very provocative, very interesting. It's also not how physics works at all, <laughs> because as we said, physics conserves information. You can go forward or backwards. These cellular automata do not. They are not reversible in any sense. You've built in an arrow of time. You have a starting point, and then you evolve. So what I'm interested in is seeing how in the real world, with the real laws of physics and underlying reversibility, but macroscopic irreversibility from entropy in the arrow of time, et cetera, how does that lead to complexity? I think that that's an answerable question. I don't think that cellular automata are really helping us in that one.